So um, let me uh, take this chance to introduce our research uh, programs that we have been conducting since 2012. Uh, so we have uh, a group to conduct this uh, research. So uh, I'm, I'm now presenting the, uh, some of the findings that we have obtained so far. But we have also, beside myself, I have we have uh, Ima Munanda here. Uh, and also uh, Eldina Fatima, uh, Dr. Indra, Mahmouza, Zulhaidir. This is uh, researchers from the Indonesian part. So we have three groups, uh, one group in the Philippines, and uh, second group in Indonesia, and the third group in Timor-Leste. So we are representing uh, the group from Indonesia. So the title of the, uh, my presentation today is about the role of local and indigenous knowledge for increasing coastal and uh, small islands community resilience towards uh, natural hazards. So I myself uh, not anthropologist, so I don't, I don't think that I would expect some, some uh, anthropologist uh, questions. Uh, maybe I can answer some, but uh, maybe in detail, I will let my um, colleagues to explain uh, further. Um, well, um, yeah, uh, so uh, the background of this is that the local and indigenous knowledge, so that's um, from now on we call it link, is a practice or belief uh, by the community. So it's also supported by a certain system. It's not individual, and uh, but most of them uh, is transmitted over a generations. And then the, since uh, the link is also already there in our community, but it uh, has a very poor documentation on the link itself. So we also observe that the. Um, some of the links are a very poor uh, validation process have been done uh, to prove that the link can be useful for a uh, uh, purpose such as for disaster litigations. And uh, um, well, now we think that uh, we need to like introduce an excellent research uh, to prove uh, how to or, or, or how to formulate the measures to incorporate the lesson learned or knowledge that we obtain from our links. Uh, into the RR and CCA, disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation, especially for coastal and small islands. Well, in this regard, um, we are only um, focusing on the types of certain uh, disasters. In, in, in this, uh, at this time, we are focusing on hydrometrical hazard. So we don't regard any links that related to geological, geological hazards, such as that we already know, small or even not, something like that. Um, well, a brief profile of the research project that we are conducting. Um, this research is, we call it the uh, strengthening resilience of coastal and small islands communities towards hydrometrical hazards and climate change uh, impacts. So, uh, as I mentioned before, this research is conducted in three countries, first in Indonesia, Philippines, and Timor Leste. And this is supported by UNESCO office in Jakarta. Also by Japan Funds in Trust or DFID and Asia Pacific Research Network for Global Change or APN. And uh, this research project has three phases. The first phase uh, was conducted in 2011 until 2012. Uh, it was conducted in Indonesia, uh, in Sangihe, in North Sulawesi, in Bali, and also in Central Java province. Uh, but uh, in this space, TD uh, did, did not evolve in this space, but then we enter the second phase and the third phase now. So in this second phase, we conducted research in Kulu Aceh Island and also in Sayum in Central Java province. Now we are entering this uh, third phase, so we are conducting research in, also in Kulu Aceh Island. And we have uh, two other locations, first is in Bukanbada uh, sub-district, also in Aceh, and another one is in Sitka in Maumere, uh, Eastern Nusantara province. Um, research objective, uh, we would like in this research to identify the existing uh, local and indigenous lobby that can be benefit uh, to uh, uh, hydrometrical hazard risk reductions and also climate change adaptation. And also we in investigate concerted effort or any attempts to bring me into practice and to strengthen uh, the links in, in our community, and also to validate the relevant links that um, related to the uh, CCA and uh, DRR. And the next one is we 
we are we develop information education and communication materials or for now on we call IEC materials uh, for transmitting the use of the link itself into uh, hydrometric hazard and uh, climate change adaptation adaptations especially to younger generation so um, well, there are several uh, theories about the link. Uh, so one of them is uh, proposed by Professor Rajiv Shaw from Georgia University. Uh, he identified that uh, a link should follow a certain characteristic. So uh, the first is it should be locally bound, and also uh, it indigenous to a specific area. And second one should be culture and context specific. Uh, and then not, usually non-formal knowledge. Uh, so we, we maybe not be able to find it in a formal uh, education system. And later on, orally transmitted or generally it's, it is not documented. Uh, and it, it, it also dynamic uh, based on innovation adaptation. And uh, lastly, it should be closely related to survival or any effort to uh, subsistence for many uh, people. So this is the study area and, uh, in our third page now. So this is the Pulau Aceh Island, and this is the uh, Pekan Bandar Sabdesik. Uh, Bandar Aceh is just next to the Sabdesik. Um, uh, just a brief profile of the area. Uh, the Pulau Aceh Island is, it has about 3,900 people now living in the, in, the, in the islands, and also uh, Pekan Bandar it has about 15,000 something people live in the area. And because of the small island, it has. Uh, several, sometimes it has incessant uh, extreme weather like a typhoon or not directly typhoon but uh, high, high, high winds or uh, strong winds. And sometimes uh, so sometime the constant rotation between the small island into the mainland uh, was disrupted. And the people in the island was, were isolated for several days and they had to, like, to survive while they own. Uh, while, uh, well, logistic that they are available around them. So this is also a problem that we have today face now. Um, early reports that we uh, obtained from this area is uh, two pictures. The first, the, the left hand side picture says uh, uh, lighthouse, uh, hand hand drawing, like lighthouse, and the, second, the next one is uh, uh, white uh, and uh, uh, black uh, pictures. Uh, photo taken in also the same uh, period in, in 1896. Uh, we believe that these uh, pictures was taken by someone from uh, Netherlands at that times, and, and we can and then retrieve the two pictures from the ITLP now. I think it's open source, uh, open uh, access, so you can also download the, the pictures. Uh, we have research methodology, as I mentioned before, uh, this is an actual research, so we have uh, like a looping process, uh, and mainly we have three phases. So in the first phase, we call it uh, unfreezing phase. During this phase, we conduct preliminary diagnosis, data gathering, and also action planning. And the next step, when we enter, uh, it's called uh, changing phase. During this phase, we also conduct uh, interventions, some interventions, also link validations, development of uh, self-assessment tools, and also FGD and workshop. Later on, and then we have uh, what we call the pre-freezing phase. During this phase, uh, we also start, uh, conducted some corrective measures uh, just to make it, um, well, the uh, achievement of this research can be better. So we have corrective uh, action and pilot project. We have documentation, so production, and then we check it again with the, uh, the, the, uh, the next loop. So this is what we call it the action research uh, methodology that we adopt in this research. Uh, we have two level outputs, uh, as you can see here. So the first uh, level outputs we uh, identify or directly, uh, so we identify the community relation between uh, the community to uh, with the previous disasters. And the second uh, level, we uh, conduct the socio-geography validation process and also scientific validation and developing uh, some of the model between the links and uh, the islands community. And this is uh, just some pictures to show you that we, what we uh, have been conducting in uh, the island. We conducted a field survey also dealing with the local community. 
and we also uh, this uh, this is a picture show to you where we conducted the research, where we conducted the uh, field observations, uh, also at the FGD that we have conducted. And uh, sorry, this is an FGD and key involvement. Well, uh, well about the validation process. Um, the validation process it actually is aimed to clarify whether this link is uh, relevant to the RR or NCCA or not. And second one is whether this uh, link is um, well uh, related. Sorry, can be validated scientifically validated or not. So that is the, the two categories that we, we <coughs> have to conduct to uh, validate this uh, all the links that we found in the island or in the coastal area. So we have four categories actually in terms of uh, area conditions. It should be not individuals. It should be a community perceptions or community practices. So uh, just to distinguish between um, a link and uh, individual perception or individual practices. And second one is time condition because link should be uh, transmitted out of one generation. So if we believe that one generation should be at least 15 year, 50 years, so it should be, it, we should have a record more than that, longer than 50 years. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So and also we check relevancy and also scientific basis. Um, well, we found that we have four at least uh, link, links that we can then promote this link into the RR and CCA. First, we call it Uten Pasi, and then Uten Banka, Tulunong, and Anginbade. So uh, all these four uh, links we identify as a, a potential links that we can then promote to, or enhance into further process uh, in, in the RR and CCA. And uh, well, I just want to skip this. Well, this is an important uh, matrix that I'm going to show you. There, is four, there are four possibilities possibility after the validation process. The first one is the link can be scientifically validated and related to the RR. Second one is can be validated but it's not related to the RR. Maybe cannot be sorry, uh, cannot be scientifically explained but it's related to the RR. And the third one is can be scientifically explained but not related. And the last one is uh, cannot be validated and not uh, also related and all relevant to the uh, RR CCA. So all these four metrics. Uh, well, uh, location. So we and then uh, encourage, recommend the first possible uh, two possibilities should be promoted and enhanced into further process. So I'm um, sorry. I just want to show you uh, the. Um, uh, well, this is what based on that process. Then we we compose a nice material such as this comics. We have four comics. We have three booklets, and also we have posters. And we have also. Uh, sorry. We have also actually, uh, we, we are developing two uh, documentary movies. Just want to uh, explain to a lot of broader community so that people can see what is link and how the link can be used for your CA. We expect that this uh, documentary movie will be aired in our local ch channel, uh, TV channel soon. Well, uh, well, this is just to show you some pictures and our response that we observed during our um, dissemination process. Um, we, we also observed the some changes. This is uh, four points that we observed. First is the, uh, about the awareness of the local community, also um, how they learn the words before and after, and then also we observed how the uh, reaction or the perception of the young generation toward the links, and also we noticed that support from the community-based organization. Organization is essential, such as the Anglimala organization. And also, uh, well, this is the last one. Just a final remark. So uh, this is my final conclusion because we are now in the process of conducting the research itself. So hopefully, uh, we can finalize by by the end of this year. So we have three points that to uh, for our tentative uh, remarks. The first one is that CSI or Coastal and Samoa Island Committee have developed their own links to anticipate natural hazard. Uh, as they are very much exposed to uh, multi and repeating hazard itself. And second one, proper documentations that also uh, consider target audiences and effective media uh, will attract larger attention and will have efforts to strengthen the link itself within the community uh, so it can be held better. And the last one is, uh, this is uh, the most important thing also, policy changes and support towards strengthening the CSI community by means of 
uh, link should be provided to enable the effort to increase the CSS resilience, become effective and sustainable. I know that the words of local energy resources, or maybe some of us know that local wisdom, wisdoms are very much uh, familiar and very much uh, eager to, to learn about that. But when we come into practice, we could not find any single or maybe, well, very few activity or real action being done to incorporate the links or local wisdom into real action or into real program. But that is uh, the challenge that we are, have to answer. So that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Lang Shamsidik. I'm quite sure we have uh, a lot of questions.